Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to make a special tool to help me uh, refit the outer pinion bearing onto the pinion shaft. And uh, because there's just me here, uh, I came up with this idea. Hopefully it will work. So let's get to it. So in the week I've been uh, cleaning up the uh, casing and the tubes uh, just to get these ready for priming and painting up. Could have gotten powder coated, but I don't think that's necessary. I've got a, a very good uh, chassis paint that I'm going to use and I'd rather put my money into buying good parts for the rebuild. So I think that will be fine. So anyway, so what this video is about is that what I want to do before I remove this uh, inner race from the pinion, before I do that, I want to get a a gear pattern test to see how we're meshing, see what the contact patch is like uh, to in relation to the pinion and to the ring gear. So to do that, we're going to refit the pinion back in here, okay, which goes like so, okay, while holding that, this is where the problem arises, okay. So single-handedly, I'm on my own in the shop here, you see. Um, I'm not going to put the seal back on uh, because it's not necessary for this initial setup. So I need to refit that bearing onto there, okay. Now, a lot of ways uh, people have done it is they're holding their pinion here and they put a, um, you know, they'll use a socket or a tube and then gently tap that bearing back onto the shaft and then it'll enable you to put the flange on and then the nut and then tighten up and get your preload. But as you can see the bearing stops right there and there's no way to get the flange on to have the nut help you in pulling that. And plus even if it did and you got a little bit of purchase on the outer um, teeth here of the nut, um, you know, you're running the risk, I believe, anyway, of damaging the threads, you see. So you want a good purchase. So you need to get this bearing in there and started. So then you can put the flange on and then uh, put the nut on, if that will make sense to you. So if I had another help here, it would be easy because I could hold that or, you know, jam something in there and gently tap that on. So I've come up with this idea and I'll admit it's not completely my idea, I've modernized it a little bit. I did uh, do some internet searching and uh, so I don't want to take all the credit but I think it should work. And so let's get straight to it. I'm going to keep my mouth shut and uh, you'll just see what I'm doing. So, as you can see, I'm sure you figured out what I was doing. You can change out these sockets for different sized bearings. Anyway, that's the idea. And uh, let's see if it works. So that's locked on there pretty good. Um, I can insert it into my pneumatic hammer here. There you go. So, let's see what this baby can do. Okay, so let's... Uh, Put a little bit of oil on the shaft to help 
the bearing on its way. Like I say, I am obviously replacing these bearings. From my understanding, some flanges go on far enough that you could actually use the nut to pull the bearing on, but I didn't want to risk, and it can't go on far enough of damaging these threads at all. Before I put this gear in, I am gonna, I've cleaned the gear thoroughly with brake fluid, I mean brake uh, cleaner, you know that stuff. Uh, but I am gonna put some oil on the bearings, because when we, we're gonna torque this down to 12 inch pounds, 12 to 15 rotational torque, and any resistance in this bearing is going to throw that off. So I've got to make sure it's dead clean, haven't we? Makes sense to me. So get some of that on. Like I say, this is going to obviously be replaced. And then we're, all we're going to test is the contact patch pattern on the, the uh, ring gear. But uh, that's going to be done in another video. I just really wanted to see how this tool works. You never know, it might be a complete dismal failure. But... So, get that on there. See how this goes, shall we? Stick that bugger back in now. I, <laughs> I, I don't know, that. it better bloody work. Okay. Now, obviously I've got a large enough socket that it's not gonna rub against these splines, okay? So what I think I'll do is get it up here. So there's the bearing, and as you can see, there's no way we're gonna get the flange on and the nut and help us pull it on. So, brace yourself. Uh, we'll mark our marks up where it, the original little flange went on, you see. Get that on there. And then, look, we've got plenty of room for that nut to pull on without any risk of damaging the end thread. So that was a big success. And, uh, great. So, that's what you do. And this is great because we can change out different sockets uh, for different applications. And I'm thinking, you know, probably want to turn the drill down a bit or the, you know, so it's not so aggressive. Um, there is a valve here. But um, I'm thinking, like I say, you can change these out for different size bearings, right? And also uh, seals. I'm thinking this would be a good seal press as well, you know to get a nice board and a nice controlled hit, uh, even um, with different size sockets. So there you go, there you have it guys. And the spray paint is optional, makes it more tool looking, doesn't it? Uh, it goes without saying, obviously pick your socket size or bar size to correspond with the bearing or seal that you're driving to make sure you don't damage it. Uh, you guys know, you gotta make sure that that's right, not hitting on the bearing or the soft part of the seal that can damage it or that fact uh, if you're driving a seal into the axle not so big that it can damage the side walls all right thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video that was a complete success i really um i really didn't know whether that worked the logic behind it it works um and uh, i promise you that was the first time i've ever done it as you saw it that was the first uh, bearing i ever drove with it so um I really appreciate you guys, all your help. We've got Ron in Australia. He sent me a spec sheet that I've got to kind of get my head around uh, uh, setting these guys up. Uh, we've had Adam in England helping me, uh, contributing. He's, he actually owns three six threes. He used to have a lovely 600 in England. Three six threes in England, I can't believe it. I think, from my understanding, looking on the Facebook group, there's only 11 six threes on the road in England. I think there's 20 complete total so and he's got three running ones which i know they're beauteous um so also oliver in germany we've been chatting about different various things uh and of course duke down in los angeles i believe duke used to work for the classic center and he's been invaluable so i've been uh you know getting my head around the process of setting this up and as i've said in previous videos i'm not uh, um I'm not getting into the side bearings for the ring gear. I'm leaving those, um, but we're just doing the pinion bearings. 
And the next step, now that we got that puppy on there, um, is to check contact pattern. Um, I just bought some of that uh, bluing paste, you know, the non-drying paint you put paint on the gears. That actually gave me the wrong stuff. You know that yellow stuff from the last video? That's completely wrong stuff. It dried, and so it wasn't making any um, contact pattern for me to read. This stuff, I believe, is non dry It says non-drying Prussian blue, and so we'll get a nice smear on each of those gear teeth to make sure we're in the correct position, which is right in the center and not on the heel or the toe. Um, if it is, we're going to have to get some shims on that pinion gear to adjust the pinion depth to get a good contact pan. And fingers crossed, the backlash is uh, good. If the backlash is not good, I am going to have to get into moving that uh, ring gear from side to side. Um, and that is where I'm going to touch with uh, touch base with Duke again to get some advice because we're going to need a special tool to be able to um, adjust that and then load the load the side bearings. I think that is all for today. Uh, I've got lots on my mind as far as this going and different uh, procedures and everything. Like I say I'm taking it step by step along with a lot of really I really appreciate all the help that I'm getting with this and hopefully it's helping some of you guys out there. Um, so I will see you in the next one. Have a great weekend and uh, take care guys. Please hit like, share, subscribe and all that good stuff. Take care. Bye bye.